It's a subject that comes up nearly every session, and today it's finally going to the House floor for a vote. If it is passed by the House, Minnesota will be one step closer to being able to sell beer and wine and booze on Sunday. Pat Kessler joins us live from the Capitol. Pat, uh, this thing is generally stalled in committee, right? Is this the first time it's made it to the floor? Well, it's always been amended on the floor, meaning a bill to do this has actually never happened. So this will be the first time a standalone bill is, is on the floor of the Minnesota House. Now, this is kind of interesting because for all of the things that I cover here at the Capitol, all of the issues here, this is by far the number one public interest issue. I get more email about this than anything else, uh, depending on what's going on. It doesn't matter. Sunday liquor sales are the number one thing, and it looks like it is going to pass off the floor of the House, but the Senate is still kind of a question. Uh, there aren't enough votes at this moment to pass this in the Senate. Pat, what the heck has changed? We've been talking about this for years now. Why is this finally the year that we'll see it make it to the House? Well, I think it is because of young millennials who are growing up becoming uh, more consumers, a lot more of them, a lot more voters, and people are thinking, why can't you go to a store on Sunday just like everything else? Now, we understand Speaker Doubt is one of the authors of this and a supporter of it. Here's what he had to say on a Sunday morning show with Esme Murphy. We think that the, the reason it's catching steam this year is uh, there's a there's a broad grassroots support for it, and that that pressure has been growing at the Capitol uh, in recent years. So I think uh, I think this is the year. Well, I think that's exactly right. A lot of younger folks coming up. They say, why not? Why do we have these laws restricting it? So I think that's the reason. Donald Trump, the president, this weekend held uh, quite a re-election style rally in Florida. Uh, and then he sent out, again, a controversial tweet about the media. I want to share this. He says, the fake news media, the failing New York Times, NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, it's not my enemy. It's the enemy of the American people. Uh, I was at uh, a little uh, uh, middle school uh, improvisation competition this week, Pat. A lot of people came up to me and congratulated me on being elevated to enemy of the American <laughs> people. Well, it's absurd. Uh, let's just say that right out. It's silly. Uh, the, the First Amendment of the Constitution uh, is freedom of religion, freedom of the press. It's not the Seventh Amendment. It's not the Twentieth Amendment. It's the First Amendment. Uh, the reporters are not the enemies of the people. The last president, I think, who had an enemies list was Richard Nixon. And we didn't know about it till later, but Richard Nixon had an enemies list. And this is a continuation of what President Trump says. Uh, about fake news, about the media are not telling the truth. All of this, the more and more that a leader, an elected leader like the President of the United States says this, I think the more that people believe it, even if it's not true. So uh, that was a little bit shocking. Not a little bit, as we say in Minnesota, that was shocking. Yeah, all presidents fight with the media, but to label sure, you enemies is a, a new level for sure. Pat, thank you. Have fun with the liquor debate. You may have heard we'll have some of those arguments before. We'll have updates on the liquor sale vote at WCCO.com and later today in the news at noon, 5 and 6.